G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, I thought we'd take a look at the new T control list in Delphi 10.4.2. So let's start with a new VCL application and we want a control list. And I will just align this to client. And the item height is currently 70. Let's pop that up to 100. Now we're going to do the classic fish facts kind of application. So throw a client data set on and I'm just going to call it fish and load from my base table and grab the classic bio life sample data. Now we'll add a, an image, a the common name and notes onto this. So if I just go an image and we will align that to left and make that a bit bigger and set proportional to true, which I think automatically sets, sets implies um, stretch. So uh, something like that. A label which we'll throw at the top and we'll make it bold. If I can find the font property, there we go. In fact, let's even make it navy. And we'll throw another label on, which will be the memo. And we want to turn auto size off and word wrap on. Now I've noticed that um, we'll need to make this slightly smaller to fit the um, scroll bar uh, on the on the left there. So. We now want to uh, set the number of records that is present in our um, grid. And we'll do that in the uh, after open. And there is an item count property. And we'll just set that to the record count. And we then want to fill in our various things, which we do in the before draw item. Let's word open a bit. So first we want to find the record that we want to render. So we assign the rec number property to a index. And the index goes from zero and rec number goes from one. So oops, plus one. We'll set the caption property of our label to the common name and let's just set all the fields, make it a bit easier. Fish notes. And the graphic is a bit more complicated. Just create a memory stream and should do a try finally in there, but I'm lazy and it'll work fine in this example. Um, so fish graphic dot save to stream MS. Now this is a little, little bit of um, esoterica. Uh, when, rather than setting the position to zero, we're going to set it to eight because there is an eight byte header in the T graphic field, uh, which is a little bit obscure, but anyway, um, and then image one dot picture dot load from stream and our memory stream. So that should be enough. And there we have our simple fish facts application and it all all works just fine and i have noticed that the when you when it renders one in the screen it seems to render the whole lot but that's okay but that works it works pretty great i'll definitely be using this in applications going forward um it's super efficient it only renders what's required so you can have you know this this could be a database of, of a million records and um 
we could just use the appropriate SQL just to get the uh, appropriate records that we need. But that's all I wanted to cover. I, I certainly I haven't used 10.4.2 very much yet, but I am thus far very impressed, um, particularly with the code insight. Um, that seems way better, and the, just the general responsiveness of the error insight. Um, it seems uh, quicker than it was in 10.4.1, um, and I'll be trying it out on some a large application shortly. And uh, one that in 10.4.1 basically crashed the IDE. So uh, <laughs> in, in a particular particular unit, um, I think it's control clicking on something. But anyway, regardless. Uh, I'm Alistair Christie. I hope, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I've, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with 10.4.2. Um, I'd suggest upgrading to it if you are considering it, or well, especially if you're using uh, one of the other 10.4 releases. This is much improved. So uh, thanks for watching.